I brought you into my jewelry room today because I want to show you my flip boards. I love them. They're super functional. And the reason I have them is because I wanted to be able to have one of every single piece that I have out on display so that as I get new pieces in, I can mix and match and put sets together. And so I wanted to have everything organized by color to make it easy to make those sets. I'm going to give you a brief overview of how we made our flip boards, but first let me show you how they function. They're able to move out to be able to use them and then we push them back tight so that they don't take up too much room in our space. They are double sided and they are organized by color. So this is the pink board. You can see we've got orange and yellow and green, blue. Sometimes the color would need two boards. So we've got blue on both sides. I've got purple with orange. When you do a color on both sides, you'll want it to open like a book. So I've got white together. Um, on this side, I've got black and gunmetal. And then here I have silver that opens together. I've also got gold. And then on this side, we've got copper and brass. And then it flips to our multi. And if I didn't have a desk here, these would lay flat against the wall. I love how they're easy to flip. I like how it's easy to find pieces. I love how it keeps everything organized by color. On the flip boards up top, we just have dowel rods and this is where we string our rings. And so the rings are still grouped together with all of the things that coordinate in that color. Then I have a row of short necklaces, couple rows of earrings, couple rows of bracelets, hair clips if we have them in that color, and then it goes to long necklaces. To make our flip boards, we just use one piece of pegboard per board, and then I put hooks on either side of it. We trimmed it out to make them a little more stable as they flipped, and we cut a groove in a piece of trim and then slid that onto the edges. And then for the hardware, we have these pegs that go into the wall and then it slides on. As you can lift on and off the pegboards, and I've got video of us doing that as well. Here's a quick tutorial. So we've got a groove in the board and we did use wood glue to secure it a little bit more. Slid that onto the edge of the pegboard, had a nice tight fit, and then definitely tacked it down with some trim nails on the corners to hold it into place. And then we repeated this process for the amount of boards that we wanted to create. We had painted the pegboard white on the front and back so they had a uniform look no matter what side they were on. Now to attach them to the wall, we put up a board as a cleat so that it was nice and secure as we put the boards up. Then we used a hinge that's a gate hinge. It twisted into the trim or twisted into our cleat and it has a rod that sticks up and the other part of the gate hinge would slide directly over that rod. So you could take the board and slide it right on to the pin and it's able to swivel all directions. I'm sure there's lots of ways to make flip boards. This is how we made ours. I love having them. I like the convenience and I like how it organizes my pieces and lets me pick and choose right there visually as I put sets together. Hopefully this is helpful for you if you're looking to do the same sort of thing with your jewelry business. Remember, I'm Mandy with Sugar Bee Bling. Be sure to subscribe, like, whatever you want to do here on YouTube so that you don't miss a thing. I've got lots of tips and tricks and tutorials. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. Just look for at Sugar Bee Bling. We even have an app and a website that you'll definitely want to check out.